Hey, what's up? What's up, Scope Stars? How are you? Good morning. Hey, thanks for the love. Thanks for the love. How's everyone doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I think it's morning everywhere, right? Except in the UK. I don't think it's morning there. You need some motivation today. I hear that. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Good morning, Life Coach Tracy. How are you? Yay. Yes, yes, I'm back. You know, I take these quick uh, hiatus every now and then running around. Oh, good, good, good. I'm glad you're here. This I'm trying to figure out a good time when it's great to scope and it seems like the mornings are best. So I think that I'll stick with the morning times. All right. Hey, welcome, welcome. Invite your followers. Hit the love button right down below right here. Hit the love button right here. And then you can just swipe over or swipe over to invite some folks. So hit, hit give some love here. Then just swipe over. Thank you so much, Sauce Girl. Yeah, and invite your friends. What's up, Lipstick Chatter? Amazing supporter. So we have a really great topic today talking about thoughts that materialize. I'm just going to jump right in. Those who are hopping on, welcome to The Scope. I'm your girl, Lucinda Cross, known as the Chief Activator, someone who pushes herself and others to just go after uh, the, the, the big deal, to also put yourself out there and expose the gifts and talents that God has given you and just really hit that activate button in your life, in your heart and in your passion to do more of what you love to do. So I'm glad to see everyone here. New Scope Stars, um, my season Scope Stars. Hey, what's going on, Rob Ski? And so we are just going to dive right into it. And so we're talking about your thoughts, how your thoughts begin to materialize. And we always hear, um, that's right, let's go. Get your handy dandy notebook. Oh, the execution coach is in the house. She had a phenomenal conference last weekend. I'm telling you, you missed a good one if you were not in Philly last weekend. And she's going to have it next year. So I think you should get your tickets now. It was off the chain. It was off the chain, I must say. And it's because of the experience. It's the experience. So we'll go into that. But I wanted to talk about today, thoughts that materialize. Thoughts that materialize. Yes, go follow at the execution coach. Follow her. Um, but while you're here, I want you to hit the hit hit the heart button and invite some followers. And we're going to go right into this. So when we look at thoughts that materialize it, in in the book of Job, I'm not I'm not going to we're not going to go to church today. But it's just so the Bible has such significance to it that if we don't just eat it, oh my gosh, you'll really be missing out on the tools and keys that you need to move forward in life. Hey, if your first time, welcome. Glad to see you here. So, you know, in, in the book of Job, Job 325, he says, what I always feared has happened to me. What I dreaded has come true. He said, what I always feared has happened to me. What I dreaded has come true. Now, how many of us had thoughts that we're like, oh my gosh, the thing that I wish didn't happen happen. The thing that I prayed didn't happen, happened. The thing that I worried about happening happened, right? And the th reason, listen to Job. He said, and we know that for those who know the word, Job's story is crazy at any given moment. We're not ready. I, I shared this before. Some of us are not even built for the Job life. We're not even built for the hashtag Job life, right? Because Job went through some things, but listen to what he's saying. He's saying, what I always, here's key words, what I always feared has happened to me. What I dreaded has come true. Those words alone is just saying, just my luck. You know, just, this is just, so thoughts begin to materialize. And when they begin to materialize, let's not get shocked by what we see showing up in our life. Because a lot of times it's our own thoughts uh, manifesting as a reflection of what we created. And there's something where the, it, it, there's a saying that says, when you worry, 
it's really praying for what you don't want. And so if you see that you are getting more of what you don't want in life, that means that you are worrying way too much and your, your, your worry is supplementing prayers. And so that means that you're beginning to receive the things that you worry about versus the things that you desire and are praying for. You get it? So you want to get the things that you're praying for versus the things that you worry about. And so when you look at thoughts materializing into things, they materialize into people. They materialize into places. A good example, you know, I woke up and I said, all right, God, I'm ready for some more international work. I'm ready to start doing things overseas. I'm, you know, I'm ready for these, for more opportunities, right? Want to do more things internationally. I want to expand my territory. And because I always pray that for others, right? I pray that for me. And so there is no worry in that prayer. It's God, I am ready to move forward. If it's your will, I am ready to move forward, to go to other international places. I love going um, international. I enjoy the experience. Well, guess what happens? I get a phone call. Now, the person who referred me, referred me a long time ago, but I get a phone call from the Bahamas again, from somebody that I'm not connected to. I went to the Bahamas twice last year to speak, to invite me to speak at their church, at their, their big cathedral, like come on their big cathedral. I am neither a minister nor a pastor or anything, but I'm coming to speak at their annual, come on, somebody said, somebody got to run around. So that's just one. The next email that I get, um, the next um, message I get is from an email saying, Lucinda, we want you in uh, Toronto. We want you to come to Canada for our women's expo. So here's the thing. When you begin to allow your thoughts to materialize. Now, these things happen because I prayed on, prayed for them. And I also asked for them. But my mindset is constantly on it. It's not just a one-time thing. It's this is what we're, some people worry. This is something that is constantly on my mind. Oh, I can't wait to get international. Oh, you know, I can't. Let me start perfecting my, my messages and, and preparing myself for these international opportunities. So after you say your prayer, right, then it's time for you to prepare. Got it? So once you say your prayer, then it's time for you to prepare. That means that now you are in alignment with what's to come. So sometimes we worry and then we prepare for the worst. You right? So you worry about the thing that you don't want to happen like Job and, and then you're just constantly with subconsciously preparing for the worst to happen just in case, just in case this does happen, just in case I do go broke or bankrupt, just in case he decides to leave me, just in case I lose my job, you know, just in case I get sick. So we have to cut it out with the just in case. And can we live? Can we live? Can we live? Is can we can we agree that we are willing to live? When you agree that you are willing to live, then you are allowing the seeds of life to come forth and grow in you, around you, for you, with you, behind you. You know what I'm saying? And so thinking about your thoughts materializing for better or for worse. There's this I'm, I'm getting this for better or for worse things begin to start to take shape and things begin to start to take form. And when you know that things begin to tar start to take shape and they begin to start to take form, you have to be extremely careful with not only what you say, but what you think, right? What you think. And it's so important. We hear it time and time again, but I'm just here today to remind you that your thoughts are materializing right now. Yeah, your thoughts. Hey, hey, your thoughts are materializing right now for better or for worse. It's all up to you. And at any moment, you can pull out a blank canvas and you can begin to write that story. God has given us the opportunity to take that brush and begin to write on our canvas of what we see ourselves doing, where we see ourselves going, the people that we are designed to help and we will help. And that's the power, this is the power of self-realization, realizing that 
everything is coming from the inside out. Self-realization. Realizing that you can create a new reality, a new normal at any time. And so this is not to motivate you or to inspire you or to give you a pat on the back today. But this is just to let you know that for better or for worse, whatever you're seeing in your life right now, look how powerful you are that you have created it for better or for worse. You know, if your situation is stinky, you know, it's man, I, 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 I was powerful enough to create this situation to the point where it escalated this far or for better. Oh my gosh, my thoughts. I have been, I've been soaking and marinating my thoughts to the point where I'm really living and doing the things that I desire to do. Yeah, I, I could have more. Yeah, I desire more. But look what I was able to, 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 to create just with my thoughts and being in alignment with God. And when you begin to focus on the better, regardless of what things look like, Oh, you done stepped into a gold mine. <laughs> you done stepped into a gold mine. So I hope this supports you today because guess what? Your thoughts are materializing. And Job said it. Okay, he said, what I always feared has happened to me. We got to switch that around. We have to switch that around. What I always desired has come forth. What I always prayed for is now showing up. What I always hoped and wished for is here right now and let it materialize in your life. Even if you don't see it, I know that your thoughts is going to manifest it and it's going to materialize. His next sentence was what I dreaded has come true. Switch that around. He said, what I dreaded has come true. Job has lost everything from his wife, his family, his home, his people, his team, his board members, his business. You know, he done lost everything and the kitchen sink and the donkeys. <laughs> right? And he was so tested, tested. But what was being formed and, 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 and cultivated in him was a new mindset. I say, God, I don't, I don't want to go that far. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to go that far now. I don't want to go that far. I get it. I get it. You gave us an example in the Bible. We don't need, we don't need history to repeat itself in 2016. No, I get it. <laughs> so I'm going to work on thinking differently. I'm going to understand that my thoughts are materializing and have materialized even the things that I see today from the kitchen table that I'm sitting at to the phone that I'm using, right? You said, Oh, I want that phone. You said, oh, I want to drive that car. You said, once said to that job that you hate, oh, I want to get that job, right? You know, you said to that man that you like, mm, him again. You said, oh, I want that man. So we have to, if you don't like what you see, forgive yourself and recreate again. Forgive yourself and recreate again. Sometimes it's not about everybody else. It's always about us. All right, this is your captain speaking, and I hope that you enjoyed the scope today, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Can't give you the date because you know we just do these things sporadically, but over and out. Bless you all. Think good. Yes, 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 yes. Recreate again. Recreate again. Ah, uh, oh, I'm loving the love. You missed the message, go watch the replay. And then when we have it on YouTube, I always post the videos on YouTube. None of this will be on it though, what I'm saying now, but I always post it on YouTube. Yeah, DC, I'm coming to DC in September. That's where the Activate Conference will be. Yeah, so on YouTube, it'll be cleaned up and edit, but you can watch the replay here as soon as we're done. Just got here. Oh my gosh. Well, you make sure that you listen to the replay and share it. There's a way that you can copy the link and share it with your network and let them feel the activation today. Fair enough. All right. See you. Deuces.